my house, my son did a seal. And he said, this is your, and he said, here, yeah, up here, the yeshiva, and he went down. He said, a beautiful chiddush, very big chiddush. I said it yesterday, we had, two days ago, we had a seal, about 35 guys from the yeshiva to one seal. They finished all the second in the yeshiva. And we had a big party, we had a lot of people, and I said, this chiddush and my father. And la- two nights ago, I had a raya to my father's chiddush. I want to bring a raya, to say what he said, it's a beautiful chiddush. I bring raya, and it's very relative to our situation right now. He went to finish now his mind, right? He learned six months from now. Uh, today's the last day of learning. Next month will start. And Aleph based deal. Sunday, Monday, next month, as Asher will start the Yeshiva. And today we finish. The Gemorim Masechet Shabbos says, Omar Abayi, Abayi says, page 119, very famous statement of Abayi. Rosh Hashiva spoke about it many, many times. Zechet Tzad Mekosh Tuboch. But I heard from him a beautiful Hiddush, a new Hiddush. He said a few Pshat, even a few times in his lifetime. I heard a few times. But the last Hiddush really entered my heart. I really had it. Omar Abayi, Abayi says, Taysim, I should get a reward. Kad av mesayin tzuvu merabonon. When a young rabbi finished a masechter, a masechet, av avdilu yomatav rabbi, I made a big yom after the rabbi. Again, when it was a finishing of the zman, and one guy told the rabbi, Abaye, listen, I succeeded to finish the whole masechet. We learn the kiddushim from page base to that page base and base. 82 pages, any one page I learned, I finished. Wow! So what Abaye did? Abaye did a Yom Tov. You know what the word Yom Tov means? Good day. What? Good day. A good day. A holiday. To all, all the rabbis. Now what is a holiday? How can you determine a normal day to a holiday? People wear beautiful clothing and what they eat? Beautiful good food, sweets, meat, fish, what? salads, wine. A holiday, a feast. He said, I should get a reward because when a young rabbi finished the Masechta, I made a yom to the rabbis. I made a feast to the rabbis, a whole holiday. We didn't say Tachanu. We had a beautiful meal. And the entire yeshiva made a holiday. Listen careful with the help of Hashem. Now what happened here comes the Rosh Hashiva, the Chetzal, the Rosh he says, what happened here? Is it just the rabbi, Abai says, I get a reward because I supported and I strengthened the young rabbi. Young rabbi is a young guy. He doesn't know his direction, doesn't know he wants to commit his life to Hashem. 70%, 60%, 40%. Okay, he wants to get rid of, of the queen of the army. His parents are sent to Yeshiva. He wants a free board and a half free Yeshiva to eat and sleep. There's a lot of motives. Sometimes he falls down, then he goes to the beach. Goes to girls, goes to smoke, ups and down, okay, he doesn't know exactly where he's, okay. Comes up by him. So I says, I, I, you know, I get a reward because I was a bit, I, I had the ability to build young rabbis. When a young rabbi finished the Masech, I made a big deal out of it. it was a, he, he, he rescued a young, a young rabbi. The Rosh Hashiva says, no, that's not the pshat. It's not the pshat that a, a buyer found a way to strength to boost, to direct, to build young rabbis to become Tamil Chachom. Well, it's not that. Because if that was a personal relationship, it's not a Yom Tov Le Rabbonon, it's not a holiday for the entire yeshiva. It's something personal. Abayi says, I should get a reward that I built young students, I found a way to build it. When Abayi says, I should get a reward, and Oil of Ames and Oil of I should get a reward. Why should get a reward? You know why? Because when a young rabbi finished the Masechta, I did entire Yom Tov, entire Halif, the whole Yeshiva. Comes the Rosh Hashiva Zechet Tzadik Mekodesh Libova. And he says, you know, when a young rabbi finished, he finished the Masechta, you know what really happened? The entire Yeshiva was elevated to another level. Because now, a young student, when he has a total picture, he showed a complete picture of a Masechta, he is now at another level of learning. He raised himself to another level of understanding of Hashem, revelation of Hashem. So when then one of the students of the yeshiva, he could be even the youngest, he now finished the Masechta, now he revealed another level of learning. The entire yeshiva was elevated. 
It's an elevation of the entire yeshiva. There's a new yeshiva. It's not a personal boost. It's also not. Vada is that as well. But it's not the ikah. Why was a young when Abayah stood there and he made a feast and he spoke? What was the drasha? He says, now the yeshiva, it's another level. Because new toyo came to the yeshiva. And everybody's benefiting in the business. When one of the students now is another level, it elevates the entire yeshiva. Imagine the entire yeshiva is finished. Wow. The only yeshiva should fly around like a rocket to the moon. I want to bring Raya. This is what the Washington is going to do. My Raya to do is a beautiful Raya, I think. The Gemara and Megillah says as follows. Oh, my Rabbi, the East Abaye, you're an old rabbi. You were 60 years old, he died. He was a grandchildren of what? Of? Eli. Of Eli Akoyan. And because he did Chesed, he lived not 40 years old, to, not 20, to 60 years old. So they asked about you, and what you think that you're going to merit all about? The Rambam brings this Gemara and Abdom and, and Sanedri, and Sanedri, and Masechet Sanedri, and Perek He says like this. Perosha Mishnais. He says, Rotz HaKadosh Boruch Ulezak Yisrael Hashem wanted to merit the Jewish people. So he gave them a lot of mitzvah. <coughs> And he said, by doing 630 mitzvah, maybe do one bingo. No, a bingo. One bingo. One. You shoot, you shoot 300, thousands of shooting, boom, boom, boom. One bingo, wow. You shoot to the proper bullseye, you made, you made your life. It's enough to do one mitzvah in your life with a full heart. Full heart. Not 90%, not 60. Mix with other motives. It's very hard. Because we are human beings, that we move around across motives. What who I am, the going to be human says, you know who you are? What your mother trained you in the essence until you're three years old, that's who you are. Eima boni lovetzes. The mother goes on the babies. She's lovetzes. She squats on the babies. The ruach, the spirit that she gives to the babies, a bikabola. There's a concept of ima. Is the bina? She's giving for the zah to, to the children. She's giving over what after they've been born. The ruach, the spirit that she gives to the children, that's what molds the children to ever and ever. And then mother says, "Oh, give them a kiss. Oh, you're gonna be a tzaddik. Oh, you're so beautiful. You're an handsome boy. You're my boy." So the essence of the midos that she transfers to the children, the values to the child that age. That's already mold forever. That's what the Goyim Yidulah says. A pikabola. There's a mukha in many places, in Zohar and Sefer Yitzir and other places. And this is the essence. That will stay with the child. Those needles. That's when a person grows, he also has to thank his mother. Torah Simech, he says, what is the Torah of your mother? Yes. Your being, your being, you hear this Eliyahu, is your mother. Whatever your mother gave you when you were two, three years old, you grew without a mother, whatever somebody grew, what grew, what grew you there. That spirit that you got is going to mold your character. Okay, you can change, you have to work all your life, and you change one meter, you barely change. But the essence of the meat is that's what you get. They yes, ask Abaye, Abaye, tell me what bingo in your entire life, what mitzvah you did, one mitzvah, they can see you did a mitzvah with a full heart, that you're going to merit Olohan. Abai says, you know, in Purim, I was eating a meal, I had to pay myself a meal, and the poor person knocked at the door. And I gave him my money and my meal for Purim. I gave it went to the poor person. He says, with that, I'm going to merit Olohan. But Abai says, what? Abai, in every second page, in the Gemara, Abai talks about this title, there's great in the He was a Rosh Hashim Abai. He says, you know why I'm married on Napa? Because one time, I'm pouring, a poor person knocked on the door, and he gave him his portion, his food of pouring away. Wow! With that, the great Abaye is going to enter the Napa? And I says, how's it possible? What's going on? So the Rambam and Teresa Mishnah explains, yes. Can it take a person's lifetime to do one mitzvah pure? Very hard to do pure mitzvah. Very hard. You know why you hear the wife sent you? 
Okay, you got a job, you're an old guy, you're looking for a free place. Oh, you want to balance yourself from your problem. Look up 50 reasons. My father, Coven, on the Roshiva, the bill that won't come. People listen to my word. Motive. Are you doing this pure Hashem Shammai? It takes a lifetime work of a person to be after doing thousands of mitzvahs, maybe one bingo. And Abaya said, yes, I hit one bingo one time. What do you mean, bullseye? Yeah, bullseye, bingo, boom. It means you hit to do a complete pure mitzvah. 100% pure mitzvah. Abaya says, in my 60 years of my life, I did one. He did many mitzvahs. Rambam says the Rabbi never did it for mitzvahs except that. Abaye was, he was able to put his hands on and says, I know this one. Is that what the Rambam said? That's what the Rambam said. says. He brings up this Gemara Abaye. Yes, yes, Abaye, yes. He brings Abaye. He couldn't say He couldn't say it himself. Abaye couldn't look at his turn and says, I cannot say 100%. I don't know. But this he said, he knows. That's what it says. This is what the Rambam says. The text says the text says, that's what he says. Because the answer is, it's a Gemara. Right, right, right. So, right. Right. right, so you have to say that he wasn't able to say for sure. So now the Kashi is, how can a buyer say, I'll get a reward, because I did a young for the rabbis, when young rabbi finished the Masech, the answer is like the Rosh Hashiva, that's the Raya, that is not a personal mitzvah. Was a public mitzvah. The Yom Tov the Rabbi Abaye says the Holy Shiva was elevated to another level. When a young Rabbi in the Sneder Shmidish Masech they uplift the entire Yeshiva to another level of understanding the Torah, and that's the Yom Tov the Rabbi Abaye. It's a big quality. It's not a private mitzvah. So since I did something with Kovat Hashem, was a relation with Hashem in the public, that for sure I can say I can get a reward. Get a reward next month. But if you ask me personally, did I did a one pure mitzvah in my entire life? Maybe I did one. I mean, Yom Kippur he says. I'm, I'm, I'm touring, I gave over, and this and that, you know. Name you want. But public things, that the entire Shiva's elevated, that's enough. So now, we finish Masech the Kiddush, and I hope people should finish the Masech the Bikiyas, when we finish a couple of good sugyas. We learned 13 sugyas in Yeshiva. Bar Mitzvah. 13 sugyas, if you guys remember. Shere Kesef Kekesef, Chalipi, Bia, Shtar, Chupa, Nosan Uvo Marei, Milve, Matamos Lachzir, Orev, Evet Knaini, Midin Shneim, Adam Choshu, another one of Sukkis. Review it, finalize it, that gets them in your hand, the Yom Tov, 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 the Yom